Hello, good to see you. Welcome back to Non-League and Beyond with Wayne with FC. It's episode 84 and today could be the greatest day in Weymouth's history. Before we get any further in the video, if you can please leave a like, subscribe and ring that bell. I truly, really appreciate it. I really would. Uh, it could be the greatest day. Could we could, and I say could, pick up the Premier League title. All we have to do is beat Liverpool today in the Premier League at Anfield. We're one point behind. If we beat them, we are the champions. We're not asking for much, are we? Alton has been the big difference this season, scoring 29 goals. It's so much makes a massive difference when you've got a striker that can score over 20 goals. 29 goals, fantastic. Last episode, so disappointing in that Frankfurt game. Uh, De Santos getting sent off as well. Didn't really help matters after being 2-0 down from the first leg. I really thought that we could go on to win the Europa League, uh, but not to be. Uh, we're in the Champions League next season, which is going to be fantastic. Then to play Tottenham, beat them 3-2. I did get really nervous at the end because they scored on the 92nd minute. Uh, with Fresh Wolves 5 0, Alderton getting four goals. And I hope that he's still got some more goals in the locker. I hope he ain't outscored himself. I hope, he ain't, I hope he's left some goals left. Because we're going to need it today. We're going to need a fair few goals against Liverpool because I think they're going to score one or two. So we're going to need to score three or four. So hopefully we're good. We're going to go with Guerrero, De Santos, Cortes, Brown, and Rose, Billman, Brito, Ibrahimovic on the left, Groupier, and Yacone on the right, and Alderton up front. Like I said, I hope he's got some game goals in him. Uh, Kovacic is injured today, five to seven weeks. This could be the greatest day in Weymouth's history. It also could be the saddest day because if we win the Premier League, is that a good point to say the series is done? We've done amazing. Let's just call it a day. Non-league and beyond. Beyond could be winning the Premier League. Normally, I liked it to be winning something in Europe like the Europa League or the Champions League. But I will take the Premier League. will be fantastic. But let's not get ahead of ourselves because, like I said earlier, we've got to beat Liverpool at Anfield and we're not really great against Liverpool normally anyway. So trying to beat him at Anfield, 28% possession, is going to be tough. Very, very tough. I need everyone to turn up. I won't be disappointed. If I've got to go again, I won't be disappointed because I've got some really good youngsters coming as well. I've got a couple of transfers uh, pre-arranged uh, and I've got the budgets already in. It's looking about, if I remember rightly, 54 million got to remember because i've been on holiday i saved it went away i tried to fit it all the put all my videos in all my tactic test videos in i tried to finish the series before i went away i've left this one game to go i couldn't fit it in so come back today load it up and see how we get on but you know what fm's like it knows when you haven't played it for a while it just resets the form we were in some good form as well the santos got a lot to do from the frankfurt he's got to make up to me a long ball over the top and Liverpool, with their first chance, blast it over. Ooh. Let's throw some encouragement out there. I say, it's going to be a really, really big ask. I just need everyone to turn up. I need Ibra to turn up, even though he's on the left-hand side. I think these three are our best players, so I'm trying to fit them all in. But that could be the problem. Clearance. Liverpool still got it. And then Liverpool got some fantastic players. Some players that are worth like 250 million or more. They're really, really good. Going in a hard time, nil-nil. It's still possible. It's still possible. Proud of the efforts. And they need to be better in front of goal. They do. Oh my God. Philman's anxious. That's better. See, he's motivated now. Got away with it. He's all right. Uh, look at the team. Brown's on a yellow. Yukonu's. On a 6.6 .6 and lacking a bit of fitness. He's got a bit of a knock. I'll check him out in a second. Get this out. What I don't want to do. I don't want to see the corner goal. I don't want a penalty. And I don't I want a penalty. I don't want them to score a penalty. And I don't want to get anyone sent off. They're the three made things I don't want to happen. And let's be sensible. Konu's coming off. Barak. Could have played Fuentes out there. Fuentes out there as well actually. But let's go Barak. Good youngster. Loads of potential. We ain't had a single chance. Oh. Nearly. Alderton. Yes. Go. Fly the wind. No. Not fly like the wind. He's not gone anywhere. He's lost the ball. That's what's happened to him. Do I go a little bit positive to try and create a chance for ourselves? Or do we just hope that we can actually do something? Get a chance. 
Uh, nil nil's not good enough. We do actually need. I do actually need a goal. I'm just looking at the clock, looking at the time, thinking when do I go attacking? It's got to be a perfect time. Let's go positive for five minutes. Can we create a chance? We can. We can do this. Just need a, a counter attack, a highlight. Easy, lovely. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Just roll it out to the right hand side, left hand side. He's going to hoof up there, isn't he? He is. Olderton all on his own. But this, second ball. Third ball. Ah, uh, come on. Watch the players. Watch the players. Oh, my God. So nervous. So, so nervous. Corner for Liverpool. Let's get it out. Good header by Brown. Still on the edge of the box, though. Comes back in. Oh, he has a shot. Guerrero. Are we going to continue this highlight? This time, don't hoof it out there. Just roll it. Uh, hoof it again. Second ball. We're not on it. We're not on this. Come on. Me to make some subs. This is a really long highlight. Good. Brito. Lovely. Lovely. Croupier. Oh, my God. They got into each other's way or something. They got in each other's way. There was two of them right by the ball. You're supposed to move. Get away from it. No. Ah, oh, for opportunity. Opportunity knocks. That was flipping. Alderton. When you got to rely on Castro to come on, the savior, you know. Santos, Van Comer can come on. going to bring, can I make any more subs? Topez? Yes. Let's go attack him. We've got 10 minutes. 10 minutes of mayhem. Let's just cause it. Just waiting. We're not getting anything. Come on. Five minutes. Five minutes. Anything. We don't deserve anything, but come on. Please. Please. Uh, can I make any more subs? I can. Uh, okay, cancel that. Cancel that. Uh, don't. I just want to undo it. Right, so. Let's do what we normally do. When we're searching. I think this worked once. And I keep on doing it. And it doesn't. it's never worked ever since. Which is a shame because uh, I could do with it working today. Just going to change Brito and Vilman. Vilman can come off. Fuentes. Uh, maybe a little bit more direct. Let's get some more. Much more tempo. Come on. Anything. Anything. Anything down the other end. Anything down the other end? We Anything down the other end? Come on. One little chance. One little chance. Actually, I need two chances. I don't need one little chance. I need two chances. Liverpool, again, they're just too good. Next season, are really going to have to put a really good team together. Uh, now we're in the Champions League as well, so I should be able to pick up the really top-tier players. Uh, this is when I need about $200 million to spend. I think I need a better left-back, a better right-back. Uh, another decent central defender. I think Cortez is amazing, uh, but the rest of them, I'm not convinced. Uh, I've got a really good youngster inside forward coming in and a backup striker to really compete with uh, Alderton. It's right having one amazing striker, but I need another one that can come off. I can't believe we just, they beat us 1-0. We just needed to nick a goal. Proud of your efforts. I am proud. It's just disappointed as well at the same time. We got to a fantastic opportunity to even get this far to carry on the form we've been in. See, oh, finish in third place. This season, I don't know. I feel like we had everything. We had uh, the Europa League, we're this far away. The Premier League, this far away. And um, it's all gone the pot. So, 
Let me just have a show you the transfers that are coming in. Uh, Morera, I think you already know about this youngster coming in. Uh, he looks pretty decent. Um, Adam, this one's contract. I'm still on this one, so hopefully this works. Agreed. I don't. I think he play in the defensive midfield. I don't know actually where he's going to play, but I'll just look at his attributes and his potential and the value as well. He looks. He looks amazing. Uh, Perret. Uh, Adam and Aurela Martin. I think I might have showed this one off as well. Inside forward. Um, now I'm looking at him again. <laughs> I'm not really convinced about him. Hopefully he's better than what he looks like now. But there must have been a reason why I thought that was a good bit of money. 18 million. Right. What do we need? Well, I think we're going to need a, a decent left back and a right back. And a central defender. I think they're the real main things I'm going to look for. Finances wise, what budgets have we got? 57 million but if that player comes in for about 18 or 16 million whatever it was we're about 14 million left to spend but i will sell a few players we do have a hundred percent uh transfer revenue made available now so anyone i sell i do get the whole amount for them right thank you so much for watching we nearly made history come back again for a transfer winner special and hopefully the next season we can make some weymouth history thank you so much for watching i do really appreciate it and i will see you in the next episode